Good morning and welcome to Devos with Carly. This morning we are going to come together and do some Devos and look at the Word of God. And we're going to look at a little bit of science as well because God created everything around us and when you look at the science of all those things that he's created, it's just amazing to see how great our God is. And so these devos are inspired by a book called How Great Is Our God by Louis Giglio. And if you want to look at more of these, you can find this in any books, any Christian bookstore or online. And it's a great devotional that you can go through with your parents or your siblings or just on your own. So grab your Bible and we're going to do some devos this morning. So turn in your Bible to Ephesians 1 verse 7. In Ephesians 1 verse 7 it says, We have been set free because of what Christ has done. Because he bled and died, our sins have been forgiven. We have been set free because God's grace is so rich. Now, we're going to talk about blood this morning. Sounds kind of weird, right? Well, Blood is an interesting thing. We all have it. Every single one of us has it. It keeps us alive. And there's so many amazing facts about the science of blood and what it's made of and what it does in our bodies. Let's have a look at what blood is and what it does. Blood is made up of red and white blood cells in a liquid called plasma. The red blood cells are like a delivery system. They carry oxygen and nutrients in, and then they take the bad stuff out. They travel through tubes that are called vessels, and there's two types of vessels. One is called arteries, which carry blood away from the heart, and the other are veins, which carry, it, carry the blood to your heart. And then the white blood cells are called warrior cells. Now these cells help you fight off getting sick, and they make your immune system stronger and they keep bad germs away. So the blood that's inside of me and inside of you is very powerful stuff. It keeps us alive, it keeps us moving, it keeps our heart beating. It's amazing what God created when he created our bodies. And if the blood inside of us is so powerful, think about how much more powerful the blood inside of Jesus Christ is. Because the blood inside of Jesus is the blood that washed away all of our sins. And if you remember our message on Sunday, we talked about how everyone needs to be forgiven. And so let's look at that verse in Ephesians again. It says, We have been set free because of what Jesus Christ has done. Because he bled and died, our sins have been forgiven. That's some pretty powerful blood, isn't it? It wiped away all of our sins, and then we can go on living life knowing that we've been forgiven and that our sins have been taken away because Jesus shed his blood for us. So let's pray. So let's end this off by praying together. I want you to close your eyes and pray with me. Lord, it's hard to think about Jesus and his death on the cross and the suffering that he went through, but I am so grateful for the blood that he shed, the blood that washed away my sins. We are so great grateful to you, God, for sending your son, Jesus. And we thank you that we are forgiven and that all our sins have been washed away. In Jesus' name, everyone said together, amen. So thanks for joining me this morning. And now I wanna encourage you to take the next 30 seconds, we're gonna put a timer up, and I want you to take that time to just pray on your own and talk to God and just thank him for his son Jesus and the blood that he shed and the forgiveness that you now get to walk in. Because we're so grateful and we just wanna spend some time telling God how grateful we are.